For a lot of people who have been experiencing tension or tightness in the low back, the hips, or even the mid back, it's often because you have lost the ability to rotate your spine. My name is Dr. Jordan Fairley. I have Brendan here with me, and we're gonna show you how to properly do the iron cross to make sure that this is useful for your body and that you're not creating more dysfunction by passively allowing your body to snap, crackle, and pop in any, in any way that it possibly wants. So we have Brendan here. What he's gonna first do is engage his medial body or his core first. So he's gonna start by dorsiflexing his toes to get the backside and front side of his legs involved. He's also gonna squeeze his knees together to turn on those muscles. He's gonna try and hold that muscular tension as he goes through this range of motion. He's gonna pin his shoulder blades down to get the arms involved. He's pushing his elbows and his wrists into the ground to make sure that his upper body and his shoulders are integrated and protected. And then now he's gonna breathe into the front part of his body and the back side of his body. If you notice you have a small curve in the small of your back, try to breathe your low back into the ground. You're turning on those muscles that help protect your lumbar spine that also then go down into the pelvis. So I want you to make sure that you are really breathing into your core and holding that tension as you exhale. This is gonna make sure that this is a very safe exercise for you and not something that just allows your spine to twist and pop like crazy. So he's breathing, he's integrating all those chains. He's now gonna lift his leg all the way up to that range of motion. If you notice that your opposite leg starts to come up, it's typically because of a really tight hip flexor on that side. So if you don't have that range of motion, you can bring your leg down just a little bit until that leg can stay flat. He's breathing into his body, he's engaging his arms. Now he's gonna allow his leg to come over that um, center line and he's really focusing on keeping the core tight. So if you don't have your core tight, it's gonna allow for the vertebra to just, just start to shift and click and pop. So he's just making sure that he's keeping everything tight and he's also making sure his shoulder blade and his shoulder of that same side are staying pinned down. If you don't have the range of motion, that shoulder will start to lift up like this. And this is an indicator that you need to come back a few degrees, reset, push the shoulder down, push the elbow down, breathe, keep that pinned and then go a little bit further and breathe space into that tension. He can then come back up, let his leg go down, reset, and then that's when he would then switch sides. So this is a great exercise and mobility drill for you to increase the rotation of your spine, but also to do it very safely and to get the whole chains of your body involved. My name is Dr. Jordan Fairley here at The Source Chiropractic. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and you can see all of our other videos to help empower your life and your health.